YouTube, what's going on? I got a video today all about the transformation, the nine years that I have been consistently training. My journey in this fitness industry, working out, lifting weights, nutrition, just the whole nine, it actually started in 2005 when I started to play football in high school, all right? So we were lifting weights, you know, pumping iron, you know, bench press, squat, power cleans, you know, the normal routine, but I was mainly focused on the bench press. I hated squats, I hated deadlifts, I hated power cleans. I really just like to curl and bench press, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much where it all started. And then I went to college in 2008, stopped training for two years. And then finally in 2011, I picked it all back up. So that's where we'll start today. So I knew nothing much other than I knew I wanted a six pack. I knew I wanted to be shredded, you know, on the beach and whatnot. And that mentality just came from seeing bodybuilding, but not really understanding the aspect of training consistently and actually dieting down, right? So I was just like, you know what? I know tuna is pretty healthy. I know fruit, you know, I don't want a lot of carbs. So I'll do a tuna and fruit diet. So I mean, in college, this is, you know, my third year in college, I was going in on tuna, going in, I think yogurt too, fruits. I was pretty much eating nothing, right? I could not get shredded. I got skinny, right? Uh, I was in the sauna every damn day, sleeping in the sauna, not really sleeping. Man. I just couldn't get the results, you know? I don't have any pictures of what I did after I realized I did not want to be skinny anymore, but eventually after I was on my tuna diet, I went ahead and just bulked up, you know? I just started eating more, mainly because I came home from college and people thought I was on drugs because I was so skinny, you know? So I went ahead and bulked up, just started smashing all kind of food that I can get my hands on and lifting weights twice a day. Just every every single thing that we could think of bodybuilding wise, we were on it and it was real, it had a routine, you know? So with that being said, I was able to, you know, pack on some, some muscle, you know, and get big, got yoked. Now everybody asks me, what the hell are you eating? You know, it got down to that. So then 2013 comes, I end up going back home from college. I went ahead and transferred to a university that was local, you know, cause my girlfriend at the time, she was, she's my wife now, but my girlfriend was pregnant. So I, I went on home. Uh, my son was actually born in 2012. So 2013, I kind of wanted to refocus and get back into fitness real strict, you know, uh, just trying to bring that physique. But little did I know, I had no idea what that really entailed, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I was just working out, you know, eating clean as what I thought it was and just training, you know, training. I was on a consistent basis because I definitely was training at least five to six times a week, guys, with my normal Sunday rest day, you know, typical bodybuilding splits type vibe, you know. But again, I did not know how to bring that physique that I wanted. I thought I was getting abs, which I which I was, I just didn't know how to really get them out. You know, I didn't know how to get shredded. Whatever I was doing, it felt good and it put me in a mind space of, you'll be there one day, you'll be there one day. I mean, the gains were still coming, mainly because I was still obviously in a caloric surplus at you know, majority of the time because I didn't know how to diet, you know, so I'm thinking I'm dieting, but I'm really not. One of the best things about my physique is always my back, you know, my back was always a strong point. And if I can see my back and it looks real good, I'm thinking like, okay, you're on point. You got this, right? And then 2014 comes. You know, I'm getting better at, you know, 
getting shredded because I'm still lifting weights real hard, but I'm also throwing in cardio and I'm kind of doing it the right way. The foods are getting better. I'm doing some meal prep. So now we are on to something, right? Now we are consistent with the eating. We are consistent with the training and I'm feeling good now. So I'm in the gym, I'm lifting weights and a guy walks up to me and he's like, just starts talking about competing. And I knew what he was talking about simply because I followed some of the fitness guys like back in that day, what, 2014? That was like, uh, you got Steve Cook was out there. You got uh, Sadiq, I think, uh, yeah, you got Jeremy Buendia, he was always on there. So you got that body, uh, that physique, men's physique, uh, competing, which was more on the beauty pageant for men type vibe. You know what I'm saying? No real posing, but they were just out there, you know, you know, shredded like. So I was like, okay. And he started talking to me. He just said, yeah, hey, you need to compete. I'll be your coach. I said, let's do it. So we got to work. I was, I was in a good spot, you know. He put me on a real strict diet, you know. Something that I would not do today simply because I know too much now about nutrition. But back then it was like, okay, eat this, eat that. I was eating like six meals a day. You know, the physique was coming in, you know. I, I didn't get shredded to the bone um, when, it came, when it came down to show day simply because I wasn't disciplined enough, you know. I was cheating on my diet, which he didn't know. Obviously, I'm not gonna tell my coach I'm cheating. My wife knew. Um, I was in the cabinet tearing up trail mix you know I was uh, peanut butter was my was my weakness you know what I'm saying I love peanut butter I sat at the table one night and just ate a full tub of peanut butter you know loaded with fats all right so things like that you know I wasn't disciplined you know but I went ahead and cranked out a nice natural men's physique competition got third place the first uh first and second place guys they were um, already on the NPC stage platform, you know, so they already had that experience. So coming in third to those guys, I was like, cool, you know, I felt good, you know, so went ahead and knocked that out. Now 2015 come. Well, after that show, I was like, you know, I'm having fun. So 2015 comes, I'm having fun, but I get that itch to want to compete again, right? So I'm doing my cardio, I'm throwing it in the head, and I'm getting shredded again, all right? So one thing about me is the fact that um, I can bring a nice physique, especially once I got in my mind that you have to be disciplined in order to reach any goal that you, you know, you seek. You know what I mean? You can't just sit around and think you're doing something or, you know, just wait for something. You got to really go out there and make it happen. And that's from 2015 on, that's exactly what I was doing. Right. So I was going hard in the paint. I was getting shredded to the bone. 2015 was probably my uh, strongest year of contest prep dieting. Right. I think I prepped three times and did no shows simply because at the time that I was about to compete, I couldn't do the show. So then I go, uh, I go relax for a minute and then I jump back into a contest prep diet. Can't do the show. I relax a little bit. Can't do the show. The thing about me is when I relax, I just put on fat. It's not really relax and continue to do what you're doing. It's relax, eat whatever you want, binge eat, and then jump back into contest prep. Stop that, binge eat. And you know, that, that's pretty much what I was all about, you know, but the physique was, the physique was pretty outstanding. I had, I've always had guys, you know, ask me about steroids, uh, you know, how much I was using, you know, and it was like, you know, this is, this is natural. This is me natural. I don't know anything about steroids. I don't care about steroids. I, I really don't. At the time, I thought steroids was to be like Phil Heath, Ronnie Coleman, and, you know, uh, Jay Cutler. You know, it's like, well, what I need, what, what I need steroids for? I don't want to be that big, you know. You know, I mean, that's just not my ideal physique, you know, to be bodybuilding, bulked up, you know, hardcore with mass and all that. So that wasn't my vibe. So I didn't, I didn't really know too much about steroids. So this is this is a natural, you know, transformation, man. Back and forth, contest prep dieting, getting real shredded, getting real lean. And around this time, 2015, I was traveling with my job. So that allowed me to simply be focused on only contest prep because my wife and my son were nowhere around because they were back home, you know? So it was me going to work, going to the gym, going back to the hotel, going to work, going to the gym, going to the hotel. I mean, 2015 was a good year for contest prep. I learned a lot, you know, I was able to uh, better my physique in a lot of areas, right? Although I didn't apply them to the stage that year, it still got me prepared for later, right? Everything's, everything's a building pro process, right? You gotta crawl before you walk. You gotta build though that foundation and then you gotta add 
go into that. All right, we're building. We're building here, right? So 2015 was a good build year. Learned a lot. Then once I got done towards the end of the year, I, I was bulking again. <laughs> you know the vibe. So I was bulking again, throwing around weight, which is which is pretty much what you want to do when you're bulking up. You want to be throwing around weight, trying to get as strong as you can, you know? So I kept that bulk going, guys. 2016. Still bulking up, all right? Just, just getting hefty, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, just working out, you know, just relaxing. And I started my YouTube at the end of 2015. So around, around this time, I'm killing it on YouTube, you know, in my mind, you know, I'm just making videos all the time, you know, not really too dialed in and focused on dieting, but I am around this time doing if it fits your macros and trying to you know, implement, you know, treats here and there and just showing YouTube that, you know, you can eat uh, whatever you want as long as you're in a nice caloric space, you know, whether you want to be in a caloric deficit or a caloric surplus, right? So that was the vibe, man. That's all I was about, you know? So 2016 was that. And then it comes down to the end of 2016 where it's time for me to go off to the military and my recruiter did not like the bulk look all right she will not necessarily the bulk look but she didn't like yeah she didn't like the look or the weight you know and I'm trying to explain to her like it's muscle you know and not necessarily fat but she didn't want any problems when it came down to me actually trying to commission and actually get into the military. So she said, you know what? You got to lose this weight. Lost a shitload of weight, guys. Ton of weight. I uh, had to crash diet because I only had like two months to lose all this weight. I don't even remember how much weight I had to lose, but it could be around 30, 20 to 30 pounds, right? So she wanted me to lose it and I did. You know, I, I got I got super, I didn't get lean obviously, but I did manage to drop, drop off some fat and obviously some muscle because it had to go. There's no way I can hold on to that muscle crash dieting. You cannot hold on to muscle if you crash diet, guys. That's why when you diet, you wanna do a nice, slow transition all the way down to your optimal physique, all right? so. I was, in a, I was down, but I also was looking forward to the military, which is why I say, you know what? It is what it is. At this time, I wasn't even thinking about competing. I was just working out, you know, having a good time, you know, just relaxed in life, right? So 2017 comes. I'm in the military. Let's get shredded again. Let's let's drop some weight. Why, why are we sitting around here being fat? Let's drop some weight. And I forgot to add that my daughter was born in 2016. So a lot of that weight that I gained was pregnant weight, you know, from my wife being pregnant and me being the support. We were eating, you know, eating like crazy, right? So went ahead and chopped that off, uh, dropped some weight and I felt good again, all right? And so now 2018 comes. All right, now here's where it gets good. My nutrition is on another level. My training is on another level. And me being consistent and having that drive is on a whole complete another level, right? 2018 comes, I see a show opening up on my base. I'm going for it, right? I'm going all in. I started my diet at like 198, 200 pounds. Killed the whole prep. I mean, I got shredded to the bone, right? Jumped on stage, took that first place. Now I'm feeling good, all right? Oh, actually, no, this was actually April, but you know how I do. I like to relax when I get off these diets, right? And my relax isn't real chill. My relax is binge eat, you know? And that's that's something that I'm still struggling with today because I just have a habit of, if I'm, not, if I'm not working towards something, like trying to get shredded, then I'm gonna eat whatever I wanna eat. There's nothing stopping me, you know what I mean? So I gained a little weight after that show, but then I also had another show to look forward to. And so now I'm back getting shredded again, all right? Fun. I, I can honestly say it was fun because I like the focus. I like the focus. And around this time, it was, you know, the your typical bodybuilding diet, but I'm used to it, guys. And that's, that's, that's what felt good. That's what felt normal. It works for me. So throwing that cardio in on the Stairmaster, getting that training in and eating like, you know, on a strict diet is, is where I succeed the most, right? Went ahead and jumped in the show in Texas. This is the Johnny O. Jackson Classic. Took first place, all right? Killed the show. Now I'm feeling even better, but now it's also time to relax. So now it's time to get fat, 
and that's and that's what I do, man. So I went ahead, got fat. I think I got all the way up to uh, 208 this time around, possibly. You know. All right, now 2019 comes. It's time to get shredded again. We gotta get the show in. We gotta do the show. We gotta qualify so we can go to nationals. Although I qualified in 2018, I didn't know the rules, you know, so I thought I had to get another first place. Cause normally you wanna get a first place in a local show and then you can, that's, that qualifies you for the national stage, you know? And I got shredded, right? So this this is actually a good prep for me, right? Because I, w I traveled, I went to, uh, Cancun, Mexico during this prep, you know, didn't throw me off. Uh, I did some some family trips, didn't throw me off, you know, because when your mental is there and your discipline is there, you can afford to relax a little bit on a vacation, not going crazy. And that's, that's what I did, you know, so I was I got shredded, guys. I did my thing, you know, big cheat meals. It was fun. Got shredded to the bone. Uh, this time around, I got a little scared because I did a different protocol, so peak week protocol, and I would uh, I tried to switch something up and I didn't like it and I panicked, and so that last week I went crazy on diet, crazy on cardio, and I shriveled up like a like crazy. All right, so I went ahead and still knocked out the show, got that first place because I was shredded to the bone and obviously I had the muscle still, didn't really lose too much muscle, but you know I just freaked out, guys and. That's one of the things you don't want to do when you're, you know, you're dieting, when you're getting ready for the show. You want to give yourself time to get ready because if you panic, that is going to screw all everything you work for. I'm talking about you're going to start holding on to lots of water from the stress. It's not going to be pretty. All right. So if you're going to compete, you need to give yourself time and relax. I managed to go ahead and crank out that first place. You know, what can you say? Genetics. <laughs> but I did shrivel up, man. I got real light. I think like. 168 69 ish i think no 166 i was 166 that is crazy you know um for me to compete and be at a nice shredded physique i want to be and need to be at like you know 175 180 i need to perfect that which i still have it but i need to perfect that and make sure that's my shredded look carve up and feel good you know and, and be nice full full muscle bellies, all right? So don't get it twisted. The physique is still there, you know? You all you always look great after your show. That's just how it goes. You be, you binge eat that, that night after the show. Lots of treats, lots of fat, lots of grease, and then you look great in the morning, which is, which is normal. But like I said, I got that first place, guys. So now I'm going to nationals, all right? So I don't really take too much time off from this because this show is in August, nationals in November. We gotta get right back to the diet, all right? So I think I took like a week off and then I got right back to it. Got shredded, did my thing, did not panic, took my time and I cranked out seventh place. <laughs> but it was a fun seventh place, right? My first time at nationals, man, you know, just had my family there. It was a good, it was a good time, you know? So seventh place at my first national show. I'm gonna take that and say, you know what? Let's get better. I know what I need to do to get better. Posing has to be better. The diet has to be better. Training has to be completely better because I need to be able to uh, develop those muscles that I want to force those carbs in when it's crunch time, all right? So that has to be a lot better. But at the end of the day, guys, I had a great journey. I mean, I've been training since 2005, but consistently from 2011 to now, guys. So this right here is from 2011 to 2009. That is a, a, this is gonna be a full nine year because I'm taking it all the way to December. So the show right here is in November and I finished up, you know, and now obviously I'm relaxed. Not super relaxed, cause we, you know, uh, you still wanna, I'm, I'm more, in, I'm, I'm in a better mental space where I can handle it, you know? I can handle relaxing and still be, you know, fairly decent on a diet, nutrition, and not going crazy with treats and all that. So, hey man, nine years of fun, man. Getting better, always getting better. Um, I encourage you guys, uh, if you're on your journey, to just keep pushing. Um, don't worry about other people and how they look. Focus on your physique, you know, cause that's what you need to perfect. You need to perfect yours, you know? So don't get too caught up on what other people look like on social media, cause nine times out of 10, they had a nice filter you know unless you're catching somebody on youtube they're actually showing you you know the pose and their physique on youtube then you can say okay that's what it is but you still don't want to focus on that because you're not really trying to look like anybody else you need to be focused on yourself focus on getting better 
and look how you want to look and do you. At the end of the day, you got to do you guys. This is my nine year transformation. I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already and check out these videos, man. I got videos for you all over the YouTube channel. I've been doing YouTube for 2015 on and off. I'm being more consistent now and I really want you guys to be involved. So go ahead and subscribe, turn the notifications on, like this video, share this video uh, so you can encourage, you know, your friends, your family and just everybody else on your social media platforms. And let's just keep growing, keep getting better, guys. That's at the end of the day, we just want to keep getting better. All right. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to catch you guys next video.